Does your dog have these thick calluses like Pippi has starting here in her elbow? I'm gonna show you a new natural remedy. It's also good for your dog's nose, your dog's pads. This is DIY dog butter. And bonus, it's safe for your dog to lick. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Click there to subscribe. Hit the bell to sign up for notifications. Then when you click that link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. Here we're looking at the outside of Pippi's elbow and you can see this red area of hair loss. It's thickened, it's a little bit rough. That's the beginning of an elbow callus. These calluses, they're very common in our middle-aged to older dogs. Our dogs often prefer just lying on the hardwood floor versus lying on their comfortable bed. They've got this loose layer of skin directly on top of the bone and that's the body's way of protecting the bone, right? It forms this extra thick layer of callous skin. But that skin is prone to breaking down, it's prone to infection. There's some things you can do to help it. Many dogs will form these dramatic, dramatic elbow calluses. And you look at some of those pictures here, you can see it almost looks like a secondary growth. And that's just the body's natural reaction to protect itself. Aside from the obvious, as far as making sure your dog has lots of comfortable bedding, you know, they're not lying for extended periods of time on hard surfaces, it's really important that you're putting something on topically that can not only protect that skin, it can moisturize that skin. You want something that's gonna decrease inflammation, also prevent and or treat any secondary infections that can develop. This is a DIY dog butter recipe, works great for elbow calluses. Number one, we have coconut oil. The coconut oil does a great job of hydrating the skin, decreasing inflammation, promoting wound healing. We're putting in two tablespoons. Next, we have castor oil. Castor oil, it's high in ricinoleic acid. It's a great natural humectant, meaning it's gonna trap in moisture, helping heal that skin elbow callus. It's also a great natural anti-inflammatory as well as having antibacterial properties. We're putting in two tablespoons of the castor oil. Next, shea butter is this wonderful natural oil from this African shea nut tree. It's high in linoleic and oleic fatty acid. It's a great natural humectant, meaning similar to castor oil, it's keeping and trapping in the skin moisture. It's got antibacterial, antifungal properties and it also can promote wound healing. Assuming Pippi doesn't eat it, we're putting in one tablespoon. Last but not least, another product of honeybees, beeswax. This is beeswax, it's also already being chipped up, making it easier to measure out and add in because you're gonna melt this all down. Beeswax itself is a natural humectant, meaning it's gonna trap in that skin moisture, it's got some antibacterial properties, and more importantly, when it solidifies, it's gonna form and allow us to form that great base, meaning we're gonna have a cream that we're able to say solid at room temperature and then apply to your dog's elbow callus. We're adding in one tablespoon of the beeswax. I'm then gonna add this to our pot because we've got to melt this all down. We're gonna turn it all into, into a liquid state so that beeswax, it combines with the shea butter, the castor oil, the coconut oil. Then we're gonna let it cool. And then we're gonna have our great elbow callus cream. And it's all edible. We're gonna simmer this on the stove. I've got it at low. I want it until the shea butter melts, all the beeswax melts. Then we're gonna cool it down in the fridge and you're gonna see our end product all melted. Into my handy dandy little small mason jar to the fridge. Been about 30 minutes. Let's check the fridge, see how dog butter's doing. Check that out. And then just apply a small amount of your DIY dog butter to your dog's area of affected elbow. I was just doing this twice a day. You know, do it for seven days and see how this works or if it's helping or not. All those ingredients, they are great for your dog's skin and they're also natural and they're all safe. So if Pippi happens to lick it, if your dog happens to lick it, completely safe. If you've got a dog with an elbow callus, I encourage you to try this recipe on your dog. And if it helps, please let me know. Thanks so much for watching this edition of NRE Secrets of DIY Dog Butter for Dogs. Click up there to subscribe, hit the bell that's on it for notifications. And then when you click that link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.